YouTube, Karakage here with the Daily Challenge Solution for the 22nd of February, 2021. I have already attempted this once, it's a hard one, so hopefully I can get it this time. I'm not, I'm not in bed tonight, I am in the outside room, because I remembered to do it before I actually got into bed, so I can vape. <laughs> And I'm immediately doing better than the last one. So, hopefully, hopefully I get this solved. Um, so yeah, work, stuff. Um, got an Uber again. Again, the Uber driver wasn't wearing a mask. I asked him about it. I was just like, hey, why are you not wearing a mask? You know, just out of curiosity. He was like, he put it on straight away. So that was cool. Like, he must have had it in his hand because he just popped it up out of nowhere he literally he had his hand like near the just steering wheel or whatever and i saw his hand as soon as i saw it it was in his hand i was like huh wonder where that was kept i was thinking that in my head but he was just like i didn't know that i had to wear it it was oh it, no sorry he was like oh did you want me to wear it um because you know I don't have to i'm like well actually after we went out of lockdown because we went on lockdown a uh, lot just this Wednesday from Monday to Wednesday uh, Auckland was in level 3 New Zealand uh, Christchurch level 2 Christchurch is where I live um, and I was just like hey yeah it's actually illegal and uh, he was just like do you want me to put it on like he was asking me I'm just like hey it's, it's your choice because I was going to report him either way um, but you know it's illegal if you want to put it on put it on I didn't say it exactly like that, but he ended up putting it on, so that was cool, but he he just did not know that it was, that he had to, and I'm just, I'm honestly wondering how he couldn't know, I don't drive, I get driven kind of everywhere I get a bus, and I knew that you had to do it, I'm, if you're an Uber driver, it's just, how do you not know something like that? It's it's everywhere in the news. It's on the website. It's on the radio. It's on YouTube videos. You'll get a little wee if you live in New Zealand. It, it's like everywhere. It's like you get a COVID-19 announcement. It's out started and they say, you know, we're at level whatever. These are things you have to do. It's just like... Why? Also, Uber, I'm pretty sure, would have told him. He said that Uber didn't tell him. Uh, which I kind of find doubtful, but I immediately, you know, as soon as the trip finished, told Uber, they refunded the trip in full, which was cool, I wasn't actually, didn't really care about that, I just more want them to be like, hey, inform your drivers that this is illegal, so it stops happening, because this is the second time, third time it just happened, although the first time we were actually in lockdown, so the driver really should have known better, than when I didn't call him out on, but, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, I'm just wondering, why are they not wearing their masks? And it's not that I'm saying they have to wear their masks or anything like that, I'm saying that it is actually, they're actually breaking the law by not wearing it. And I'm, he said that no one else had said anything, and I was just thinking, really, no one's actually said anything? I'm sure that if they didn't say anything, they would have at least reported it through the app. I'm hoping that they did. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just a, I'm a bit of a stickler for rules in certain situations, especially this particular situation, because it's, you know, I don't want to get COVID. And he's a, you know, he's in contact with a lot of people. I know, you know, it's not likely to be picked up here, but, you know, you think it's not, but then all of a sudden, bang, it's bloody in your city or something. It's just, you don't know, you know? Anyway, so, that happened. And, well, yeah. Anyway, moral of the story is, if your Uber driver does shit that is wrong, report them. Through the app. And that way, hopefully, they stop the behaviour that they're not supposed to be doing. Also, Uber rewards you for 
um, reporting stuff as well like driver is speeding anything has happened with the driver I usually report it through the app once I learn how to and every single time except for the one time I said don't they have given me uber credit or a refund and I'm just like this is awesome because I'm only just reporting them just because hey I don't think this behavior should be done especially speeding and you know stuff like that and you know they're just like give you this one a uh, one-time uber credit thing i'm just like cool so it kind of encourages me to keep reporting them because they're rewarding me for it in a, in a weird way so i'm always on the lookout i'm like making sure they're not speeding and stuff and it's really easy because a lot of the uber drivers have cars where there's a digital display of their speed so i can actually look at it it's not one of those speedometers where you if you look at it from the side you're not 100 percent sure so you know i can actually see if they're speeding or not masks obviously they're obvious um and uh what else oh, that's all i really report for oh if they're swerving and stuff you know I'll, I'll mention something like that but i had an uber driver who the car smelled of weed and he was all swerve a little bit swervy he was running like red lights and shit so definitely reported that dude um yeah just especially the ones that you know are speeding they're the ones that annoy me the most well i don't know why i went back there um i mean seriously they could they could actually kill someone they could kill you type of thing you know it's, it's fucking serious uh but i guess it is what it is also one thing that really annoys me about uber drivers is I mean, it's, it's kind of a good thing, but a lot of the time, you're in an unfamiliar car, right? So, you know, you want to put on your seatbelt. You should always wear your seatbelt. Um, but, you know, a lot of the time, they just kind of drive off as soon as you sit in the car, and you don't actually have time to get your seatbelt on in those first few minutes. And sometimes, depending on the car, it's actually kind of hard to put on the seatbelt because, you know, you're unfamiliar with it. There's, It's not quite easy. It's just like... Why don't they just wait a couple of seconds for you to put on your seatbelt? It really annoys me that. But I mean, I guess they're trying to go for speed or something, but it's just, it's really irritating. The other thing is, is they come to pick you up and they're across the road or something, or they'll like completely miss where you are and then they'll drive around and they charge you a waiting fee even though you actually, they haven't actually really stopped yet or they're actually nowhere near you. That annoys me. Especially since, you know, you're supposed to have like two minutes to get to the car or whatever. A lot of the time I've found that as soon as I get in the car, I get home and I'm like, there's a waiting for I'm like, what? The car was there for like, I had to walk to the car or the car wasn't actually there. It's just, that's really annoying. But simple message to Uber, it's usually reversed. It's just super annoying. That's, I guess, more of an inconvenience than anything else. But, yeah. Ah, oh, recording will stop within three minutes. Okay, I have to get this done quickly. All right. Which means I'm going to rush this. Really rush this. All right. And the solution is done. Why the hell? Alright, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you have anything to say, leave a comment down below. If this helped you out, leave a like and a comment down below telling me that it helped you out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.